Top story tonight, a dangerous stretch of roadway altering the course of two lives. An 18 year old arrested following a serious crash that left a jogger with life changing injuries. Tonight, our first look at that suspect, Hallie Golubay, in jail facing aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge. Tonight, we also take a closer look at that stretch of TPC Parkway near Bulverde Road where the crash happened. The night team's Patty Santos finds out it's been the scene of other serious crashes in the past. But it was the circumstances under which the accident occurred, should never have happened, that led to these criminal charges. This was a scene a month and a half ago on July 1st that sent a 36-year-old woman to the hospital with traumatic injuries. She rolled the car and actually struck this, this jogger that was just minding her own business running down the sidewalk. The Bear County Sheriff says she is 18-year-old Hallie Golubay. Golubay was a driver of this white Nissan that rolled over the sidewalk and into the grass. Golubay told investigators she was speeding up to pass the driver of a Dodge Charger who was driving below the speed limit. When she tried to merge back into the lane, she lost control of the wheel. But a look at the vehicle's engine control unit and area surveillance video. Investigators discovered she was at fault. She was doing 74 miles an hour in a 40 mile an hour zone. People who live in the community right in front of where this crash happened didn't want to go on camera, but they say the traffic flow here is so fast, they're afraid to even use the sidewalk. According to online text dot reports, there have been at least eight crashes on that stretch of TPC Parkway between Morning Light and Bulverde Road this year so far. Last year, there were 13 crashes. One of them was deadly. Certainly it's a heartbreaking case in that not only is she going to be living uh, with the consequences of this young woman's action, uh, for the rest of her life. This young woman has also got a long road ahead uh, with her legal troubles that, that she created for herself, undoubtedly. The NEISD student is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and was arrested at school. And the night of the crash, Golubay tried to pin the blame on the other driver, telling investigators he was driving recklessly and she swerved to avoid him. According to a Techstart online report of this crash, the other driver, 16 years old, a passenger in that car, also 16 years old, they returned to the scene and have not been charged. Tim.